Hello and welcome to an addendum to the episode 3, Setting Up Your Heli X Simulator. During the last episode, I didn't explain clearly how to do the programming of the banks or the flight modes on the um, Heli X Simulator. So that's what this is about. Uh, so let's go and do it. You go into configuration and you have uh, the controller. That's where you were doing the setup. Now, instead of going here and starting with that, first we're going to do something so we can see what's going on. In HUDs, you look for the text ones and then you click on the flight modes. Show the flight mode. <coughs> As you can see here, I can switch the flight modes. Okay? And see what uh, is being display. Notice that I cannot access back 3 because apparently it's not programmed. So that is the first thing. The second thing that you want to do before getting into that is you want to go to global settings. Okay. And um, let me see where that is. Um, okay. Uh, start. Okay. Start with running engine. Okay. This will allow you to do the following. Because of the way the Heli X is designed to work, the flight mode one is the one that starts with the simulator. So that is the flight mode that happens and that is active when there is no bank two or bank three. So we want to say start with the running engine so it starts on mode one. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, the next thing that we want to do is, um, let me see, performance, OpenGL, miscellaneous, uh, VR, okay, that's correct. That will be required to have a, um, a restart. But let me finish here. Uh, beside that, um, we had the global settings, we already did that controller and okay on the keyboard here the next thing you want to do is delete this ones and put one here no, I'm sorry not non pad one we want to do it on the key number one okay so that means that if you want to manually select dialog uh, uh, idle up one uh, it's uh, selectable by clicking the, the number one um, key. So we say OK here. Alright, so now we have bank one. Okay, because we made it into the um, default. Okay, so let us develop one, box to one. Ah, because uh, we have an all on. I develop one. This is not supposed to be assigned. Okay, so let's go back to keyboard delete this one and this one's going to be one okay perfect okay so next thing that we have to do is buttons right let me move the bottom for idle up see how it's showing here idle up three idle up one okay so uh, there you go so I got it now correctly so idle up three and idle up one. So notice that I have idle up one is not selected, right? It's not on. And because of that, then it goes to the default, which is bank one, which means start with the engine running. Okay. So next thing that we do is this one here, and that's why it's selected. Usually it's it's like this, right? So we say okay, mode two, and then you go to idle up two mode 3, you go to idle of 3. Okay, so that's how you select those. <coughs> and then we have rescue here. That's why I selected rescue. See, so I'm going to use rescue. Rescue on, perfect. Okay, and this one here is going to be number 6, auto rotation. Because it disconnect mode one and two and three, and selects auto rotation. So as it was before, like that. 
because I'm switching the auto rotation. Obviously, the two top modes are disabled, and now number six is set up for auto rotation. Don't forget that all of these are actually um, changes that you see on the channels when you set up your monitor. So you have to make sure that they are actually programmed so that the switches do move to minimum, you know, to, to I'm sorry, to idle, to, to uh, let's say 70, and then idle of three, might be 90, and then that, that the auto rotation goes to uh, uh, idle completely. <coughs> So mode one should go to about 50%, mode two to about 70, let's say, and mode three to 90. And then auto rotation should go to idle, okay, on the, on the throttle. So you assign those for that. That's why when I hit throttle, notice that Z plus and Z minus are um, disabled because it goes to idle, the, the monitor, you know, the, sorry, the throttle, the throttle on the monitor screen. Okay, the reset model, this one here, <coughs> is something that I use. This is on version 10, is reset model. On version um, 9, you can use reload model, but reload model, uh, it will reload the model as it is stored. So any changes that you do to the model will be lost. That's why I asked Michael to add a reset model that could be assigned which is simply a reset and uh, like hitting the space bar or something like that but you don't have to get your hands off of that so that's how you do the the um, idle up well, one two and three so I'm going to recap okay so first of all you go to um, configuration okay controller uh, here global settings and select <coughs> select the start with running engine on okay and next thing that you do is HUD <coughs> that's head of displays the text HUD turn on the flight mode so you can see which modes are selected okay see none but if I press number one I have number one here Okay, so bank one, bank two, bank three, and auto rotation. Those are all the modes. Okay, so that is uh, that is what this is for. Uh, for. Now, um, like I said, you did uh, go to configuration, global settings, um, miscellaneous. Start with running engine. That would mean the bank one is not programmable. Uh, in in the switch mode itself but in the lack of having any switch on on the mode so in other words when you have it on on the mode that does not have any of the active switches uh, then it defaults to to this one which is uh, idle up one and uh, again we go to controller one more time you run everything and then the buttons as you can see here this is a uh, idle up one because it is it is set up for for um, uh, no act, no active when it's not active it will go by default to idle up one then this one is active is idle up two and this one is active idle up three this one is the one that takes preferences because it's the first one on the top so it doesn't matter that the Z minus is on because the C plus is above the other one. This one is the one that dominates and it's a, it's a mode that is selected. Okay. Again, rescue here. You apply rescue. Okay. You apply here uh, auto rotation, which is number six becomes active and the other ones become inactive. So you don't have an auto rotation with, um, um, uh, you know, with RPM. Okay. With, uh, so you need to go to, to idle and select that. And reset model again, like I said before, is one that is like doing the space bar. Okay, and that's the way you do it. So don't forget, flight mode one, default by using global settings <coughs> and setting it up so it starts running. Idle up two is um, 
the the one selected when we did the calibration and the I rob 3 is also the one selected during, during the calibration okay and that's it so that's all we need to do you come back here text and turn off the flight mode here and then you simply start uh, to fly thank you for the attention and I hope this one uh, became um, an explanation for for that uh, that I was uh, missing on the on the episode bye bye